Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to do a bit of a different one. Um, some time ago I started thinking about the ergonomics of paraglider controls and why they are the way they are. For the brakes, for instance, you have a certain amount of maximum brake travel and a certain pressure and you apply them with your hands independently. And for speed bar or the accelerator system, you also have a certain length and this varies, both the brakes and the accelerator vary between uh, different wings. And also you have a certain length for maximum travel and a certain pressure. And I always thought that Everyone uses the brakes because they're nice and accessible and they're kind of light in comparison. Uh, but the accelerator is a bit hard to get at, you don't want to pull it crooked and it's quite heavy so you kind of have to use your legs. Uh, and that's because obviously most of the tension is on the A's and then the B's and then the C's have less and less tension. The brakes, if you don't use them, they don't have any tension so it's really easy to pull. But I always thought, is there a better way? And because when you're flying in the air, there's always an optimum position to be at every second, depending on what you want to do. Uh, do you want to have minimum sync or a bit more brake for minimum speed or close to that? Or do you want to be hands up or actually should you have a quarter bar on? But, you know, if you're going to use it for two seconds, you might not bother to put it on and off. So I always thought, is there a better way to control a paraglider? Um, and this isn't like some revolutionary idea or anything, it's just me playing around with things for fun really. So I've thought about the idea of a joystick, kind of like what you have on, um, on airplanes uh, to control the, uh, the ailerons in the elevator. Because if you look at brake on one side, brake on the other side, accelerator on one side and accelerator on the other, it's kind of similar. Um, so I've decided to make a model. So I made a really simple joystick, which is basically a pivot on a pivot, so I can do both axes. That slots into here, and this way I can go left to right, back to front, and more importantly, the combinations of, e of each other. To, and, I've, and I've drawn a circle so I know where I am, and also some clips that I can change positions to, uh, to guide the lines. And my idea is that I can perhaps make a big version of this and uh, go to the beach, attach this to the sand and then f the lines go from here to the paraglider which is also attached to the sand and when I pull here, push and pull here, it will do that far away where the paraglider is. So the paraglider won't fly but it's kind of like a tethered version of remote control if you will. Okay, so this is set up in a way that the brake on the right comes down here into this, so it comes into the circle sideways and the one on the left comes from the other side. So what happens is that if I push the joystick to the right, it's going to pull more on this wire, which is this one. And if it goes to the left, it pulls more on the left. So if you can imagine the wing in front of you, if you pull left, it's going to pull on the left brake and turn to the left and vice versa. So that's pretty much like what you have currently. But because it's two axes, what you can do is you can pull back and it kind of pulls both of them at the same time. And obviously you can do everything in between. Okay, so now I've added the accelerator and moved some things around. These are the brakes, right brake and left brake. And these two are where the accelerator comes from, right and left. So when you move it around, you're pulling all four. So I've also put some labels in a reference line so it's easier to see what the lines are doing. So what's happening now is that if I pull back, it pulls both of the brakes, which is what you want. And if I push forward, it pulls it pulls both of the accelerators, which is what you, what you want. And if I want to go right, it pulls the right brake, 
but also it pulls the right accelerator, which does, is not really what I want. And same thing to the other side. And if you go to combinations, it does happen that, you know, if I go back and left, it will pull more on the, on the left brake than the right brake, which is what I want while still, you know, having a bit of differ differential there but also it pulls on the left accelerator, which is not really what I want. So these are the two accelerator lines. If I swap them, it might do something different. So now with the accelerator line swapped, I still have the same. If I go back, I pull both brakes. If I go forward, I pull both accelerators and I can still have the, dif the differential where if I'm all the way back and I go left, it pulls more on the left and not so much on the right, so the wing will go left and vice versa. But also, if I'm forward and I'm pulling full speed bar, if I go right, it will pull a little bit more on the left and a little bit more less on the right, which means the wing will want to turn right, which is kind of intuitive to what, how you would like the, the joystick to work. But more importantly, if I go right, it pulls the brake on this side, on the right side, but it pulls the accelerator on the left side, which kind of works together. Um, so that could be an interesting way to do it. The problem is there's nowhere on the course of the, um, of the joystick where I can just pull one brake and no accelerator. Uh, if I go to here, I'm not pulling accelerator, I'm pulling this brake, but this brake comes on. Um, and also, if I just go left, if I just go all the way out, so I don't pull this brake, then the accelerator on that side comes on. So, uh, so I think, even though it's a really interesting idea and I might come back to it, I think I might have to develop a slightly different solution that lets me put one brake or both brakes or a brake with accelerator, but it's not everything uh, so connected. So yeah, you guessed it, after this one, I made a different module. So the idea on this one is a lot simpler. We have two controls, kind of like uh, tank tracks. You, uh, you push them both to go forward, you push them both to go back, and you can do that to rotate. So on each individual one, there's a brake line and an accelerator line. If you pull back, you're pulling the brake. If you pull forwards, you're pulling the accelerator on that side. And then you have the same on the other side. So what happens in this configuration is a lot more straightforward. So you can pull both brakes, you can pull both accelerators, and you can obviously do them individually as well. So, by the, th by the way, anything above the line means slack. I have some weight back here, so that's why when I pull, the line doesn't go slack, the actual line goes up. So in actual fact, what would happen is, if I pull this weight, if I, if I hold this weight in my hand, this is what would actually happen. When this brake line goes down, this one just goes slack. So I can do this way, is I can pull brake on one side, I can, and then I can control it with the other, what I, wanna what I want to happen. I can pull more to match it, or I can pull less, or I can even put accelerator on to get it to spin faster. So I had to build these little models to make sense in my head of, uh, of what, how things work, and when you pull this, what happens, and other things that might be connected to it. So I think I'm gonna go with this design, with the two levers, because, um, because it's much simpler. Uh, and also it gives me a bit more control over the wing. So uh, now I'm gonna build a big version of this and we'll see how it goes. I don't have my computer here, so I had to do all the CAD in the, with a pen and paper. So I've worked out all of the uh, dimensions and ranges of motion. Um, then I kind of, this was my first design, but I think I'm gonna go for something a little bit simpler. That's a bit easier to build and smaller as well.
Right, so the paragliding joysticks are done. And I've also made a guide for the lines uh, that this goes on the bag that's going to weigh down the wing. So all there's left to do is to go back to the beach to Nazare and see if this works. It's super windy! 